In recent years, Boeing has encountered numerous structural issues with their aircraft, especially the notable 737 MAX series, leading to its declining reputation. However, there is an aircraft that holds the promise of not only revitalizing Boeing's image, but also potentially restoring its lead over Airbus. That's new Boeing 797, which is being touted to change the future of aviation. Let's find out in today's episode, how now Boeing 797 just shocked everyone, why this new 797 scare Airbus. First of all, let's take a brief look at what we have known about the 797 so far. The idea for the 797 emerged in the early 2010s as a potential replacement for the Boeing 757 when Boeing recognized a market opportunity for an aircraft that would seamlessly connect the range capabilities of the 737 and the 787. The proposed 797 aims to serve this market by fitting between the sizes of the 757 and 767. Initially broached in 2015, the 797 is planned to come in two variants. The Dash 6 seating 225 passengers with a range of 5,000 nautical miles and the Dash 7 seating 275 passengers with a range of 4,500 nautical miles. Subsequent disclosures indicated that the entire structure of the new midsize airplane would be constructed using composite materials, and it would feature an engine with a bypass ratio of 10 to 1. Despite the excitement of airlines such as United, Delta, Qantas, and Iceland Air about the project, especially with Delta Airlines showing interest in becoming an inaugural customer, the development of the new aircraft did not advance as expected. Many anticipated that Boeing would unveil the aircraft at the 2019 Paris Air Show, but the company's presence was subdued due to the fallout from the 737 MAX incidents, and no announcement was made. Then, in January 2020, Boeing's CEO David Calhoun announced a reassessment of the new midsize airplane project. Unfortunately, the landscape had shifted since the project's inception, presenting a different set of competitive challenges. The 737 MAX complications had a ripple effect, causing delays in other Boeing projects as the company focused on resolving the MAX's issues and returning it to service. Furthermore, Airbus's introduction of a 321LR and a 321XLR, the latter directly competing with Boeing's intended NMA market, diverted potential orders away from Boeing. The 797 project was supposed to bridge the gap between their 737 MAX and the smallest 787, a space once filled by the 757 until it stopped being made in 2004. Boeing thought there would be a market for about 5,000 to 7,000 of these planes. On the other hand, Airbus has been focusing on this part of the market. Instead of starting from scratch, they chose to upgrade a 320 series. They came out with a 321LR in 2015, which started flying with Arkea in 2018. Airbus a 321LR can fly up to 7,400 kilometers thanks to extra fuel tanks. It can seat 206 people in a typical two-class setup and can have up to 240 people on board for transatlantic flights. It's quickly taken over the market spot that the NMA was aiming for. Right now, TAP Air Portugal has the most a 321LR with nine in service and three more coming. Other airlines like Arkea, Aer Lingus, Air Astana, Gulf Air, and Air Transat also use them. JetBlue is adding 13 of these planes to its fleet for its new transatlantic routes, which include a fancy mint business class. Qatar Airways is waiting on 10 of them. And it gets even more stressful for Boeing when a 321XLR is announced to be coming soon in the third quarter of this year. It's set to shake things up with a range of 8,700 kilometers, thanks to even more fuel tanks. There are already around 450 orders for a 321XLR. American Airlines and United have the biggest orders, with 50 planes each. Other airlines have orders for over 10 planes each. This puts Boeing in a tough spot for sure. Now back to the present. The situation now is that Airbus is leading the aviation market with its advanced and efficient aircraft, which has strengthened its brand reputation. Meanwhile, Boeing's market share appears to be diminishing annually. Despite the public certification of updated models like the 777X and the 737X 7 and 10, these advancements may not be sufficient to create a significant shift in Boeing's position within the competitive aerospace industry. Thus, Boeing needs to make a really groundbreaking decision to reverse this situation. 
Introducing a brand new aircraft type definitely stands a chance in this context because it has been almost 13 years since the latest Boeing aircraft. The 787 Dreamliner first entered service and since then Boeing only focused on developing their existing aircraft models. And luckily, Boeing is already possessing a concept for this game-changing strategy, which is the 797. At the Farnborough Air Show, Boeing unveiled its intentions, highlighting the 797's ability to cover distances exceeding 4,000 nautical miles, a range comparable to that of the 757. It's widely acknowledged that an updated version of the Boeing 757 would be a significant development, especially when compared to Airbus's A321. The Boeing 757, once a celebrated figure in aviation, concluded its production in 2004 without a direct successor. Boeing, in fact, suggests that the 757's role was taken over by the 737-900 and the 787 Dreamliner, but neither aircraft truly replicated the 757's capabilities. Specifically, the extended range 737-900 falls short of the 757-200 series by nearly 1,000 nautical miles and offers seating for 14 fewer passengers in a standard economy layout. On the other hand, the Dreamliner excels in many respects but is categorized as a wide-body aircraft, which inherently comes with greater operational expenses and a more significant initial investment. This distinction places it in a different class from its narrow-body counterparts in terms of cost and market positioning. The Boeing 797 is rumored to revolutionize passenger comfort with an innovative 232-seat configuration, offering dual aisles in a more compact form. It's expected that the majority of seating will be by the aisle or window, enhancing the travel experience and addressing a demand once met by the Boeing 757. Below the yet-to-be-blessed 737 MAX 10, the 797 awaits, its wings poised to stretch beyond, promising a reach that could eclipse its kin's 3,100 nautical miles a span to rival the vaunted Airbus A321's farthest stretch. This aircraft is set to be a formidable contender against Airbus's sleek models, embraced by carriers such as Aer Lingus, Air Portugal, and JetBlue. With a design echoing the smaller Dreamliner, the 797 plans to integrate Boeing's latest innovations, including composite materials, folding wingtips, dimmable windows, and efficient engines with high bypass ratios. This blend of advanced features is poised to make the 797 a worthy heir to the legendary Boeing 757, setting a new benchmark for mid-market aircraft. Besides, Boeing is said to have engaged in preliminary discussions with Rolls-Royce regarding the integration of the cutting-edge Ultrafan engines into their forthcoming new mid-size airplanes. Initially, the Ultrafan's developmental delays suggested that Boeing might opt for a turbofan engine from established manufacturers like General Electric or Pratt and Whitney. However, should Boeing initiate the NMA's development promptly, the Ultrafan, slated for a 2027 debut, emerges as a feasible choice. The engine's technology and design are crucial to the 797's anticipated efficiency and performance, and the Ultrafan has already demonstrated potential in this regard. With a powerful engine option on the horizon, the idea of the 797 is more likely to be on the way to becoming reality. However, one major hurdle for Boeing's new plane could be that the 797 might need a special certification for pilots to fly it. The Airbus A320 series is already well known, and all the planes in that series use the same certification. This means that pilots can switch from flying one model, like a 319, to another, like a 321 long range, with just a simple online course. There are plenty of pilots and training programs ready for a 320 series. But the 797 could be so unique that it would need its own new certification, which could cost airlines a lot to train their pilots. However, if the 797 ends up being a lot like the 787 Dreamliner, just smaller, it might be possible for it to use the same pilot certification as the 787. All in all, given the MAX issues Boeing might need to admit its mistakes and consider developing a new aircraft, potentially the 797, which could face less public scrutiny and less stringent FAA oversight if produced outside MAX facilities. Market demand, technological feasibility, and regulatory requirements will be crucial for the 797's success. With the global fleet expected to double in the next two decades, the 797 could fill a significant market gap, 
especially as Airbus's A321neo gains popularity. The worldwide health crisis has changed how we fly, making airlines look for planes that can easily adjust and don't cost too much to run. Now that we're moving past the pandemic, the Boeing 797 could be just what airlines need. It's designed to be cost-effective for flights that aren't too long or too short, and it can handle different kinds of trips. This makes it easier for airlines to keep up with how fast things change in the travel world, which is super important when the future is hard to predict. If Boeing doesn't act quickly, it risks losing further ground to Airbus in the mid-market segment. The 797's development, while unlikely to begin this decade, could potentially see the aircraft flying by 2034. This new plane might be crucial for Boeing's future competitiveness and financial health, 